welcome to The Archer's Choice. Now, if you watched last week, we had part one of a two-part series for... Cruising for Cataboo. <laughs> we had a great show last week. We had Ralph shot a nice bowl, I shot a nice bowl, Michelle shot a really nice yep. bowl. We had a great time out there. I mean, we were in thick with caribou. And that's the thing is, with caribou hunting, like we've tried to say, is when you're in them, you're in them. And when you're not in them, you've got to understand that it's a hunt. It's all fair chase, and sometimes it happens, and sometimes it doesn't. We were in them. We got lucky. We got lucky. And now this week, you're going to take a nice bowl. I'm going to take another nice bowl. And we have Sharon Sauer. She's going to take a nice bowl. And she Randy takes it with a Thompson Center. Takes it with a Thompson Center. That muzzle loader. That was right, pretty cool. Right, right, right. And one of the really neat things, though, is with, with you and I, with our bowls, we actually shot them about 20 minutes apart, 20, 30 minutes apart on the same point. You know, and that's, you know, that is because Patrick saw him, you know, we were, as we came through, we saw all these caribou crossing, and the thing is, is remember, like we said earlier, as long as you don't spook those first few, you know, the, the rest of the herd coming in back of that will continue to come. Well, we hurried up, got to this peninsula, and we set up, we checked the wind, made sure the wind was right, and we made a clear cut, a little, with, with our snips, a trail to the, either the near side or the far side of that peninsula. So when we sat in and we're watching those caribou crossing, if they went to the far side, we could swiftly, like that, swiftly, right? swiftly <laughs> run over to that side. If not, if they stayed on the near side, we just had to crawl down and, and hunker down and get, in, get ready for the shot. And it worked out great. I mean, we, we watched it. We were set up on the one side and we did have to run the other side. So you need to check out my hunt now. Located 130 miles inland of the Hudson Bay, the Noonanee Lodge is nestled in the heart of 900 square miles of virgin territory along the tree line of northern Quebec. The millions of well-traveled caribou trails mark the way of the migration of the Leaf River herd. This newly opened territory is prime habitat for trophy caribou bulls. And now, with access to native controlled lands, today's hunters have a chance to tag one, and maybe two, of the close to 300,000 caribou which make up this incredible herd. With cooperation with Air Inuit and Nunami, offers direct flights from Montreal to the community of Kajarapec, Quebec, better known as Hudson Bay. And from there, we flew right into this incredible remote Nunami Lodge where I tried to convince Vicky we were gonna rough it. With private guest cabins, full electricity, hot showers, indoor bathrooms, full service kitchen and dining area, direct dial satellite communications, and even a TV room? Yep, we're roughing it. Yes, this incredible caribou adventure we shared with our posse, Michelle, Sharon, Randy, Michael, and Steve. So get ready to tip the tundra over, for we are cruising for a caribou. What we've done this morning is we've been in a boat with Patrick. We're cruising for caribou. You, you, you take the boat and you go looking for the caribou on the sides of the, you know, on each little island here. Most of them will come to a point and swim across to another point on another island. What we did was we saw some caribou on the island across the lake here. We saw them thinking about coming over. We're hoping that they did, but as they come over, they come to another point. What you want to make sure of is when you do, do try to set up on caribou, make sure that you have it to where it's a narrow point or good options of taking your shot. Here, it's a pretty narrow shot, narrow point. It's maybe 20 yards wide to each beach on each side. So what we did is we made a runway, you know, broke a couple branches to make sure we could get through quickly, depending on which side those caribou decide to come on. I think they're going the other side. Let's go check and find out. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. It's the Vixner's turn, and let's see what happens.
Remember? Knee-high rubber boots. Ralph learned his lesson yesterday. Okay, we gave him, what, 15 minutes or so? I mean, he's down, but yeah. now it looks like he's down, down. Yeah, so let's go get him. <laughs> wow. Look at him, huh? He's wide. Well, you know what? The first one I shot was kind of narrow, but he had really nice tops and everything. So this guy, I got my wide one. I wanted a wide one, and, and I got him. Well, thank you, Patrick. Up here at Nunami, and I mean, look at this. This is just, he's a beautiful bull. I made a good shot on him. He didn't go 20 yards. Whoa, that was a good shot. I almost thought it was a little low, but you just... I got lucky. I you mean, I, I almost missed him. Yeah. I don't know what I, happened It would have been there, great to have that on camera. Yeah, I was so glad. It's a little I low and... Yeah, but I end up, end up heart shooting him, and, yeah. and he only went 20 yards. No, he didn't go that far at all. I mean, no. I don't even think he went 20 yards, Vic. No, I mean, and my arrow went right through him and right into the water, though. You see, now, remember this, guys. Wear short boots, because then they, whoever wears the long boots, <laughs> has to go get all the arrows. Yeah, and that I had to do, that's for sure. But I mean, wow, he was so wide. I was so excited, and, and I don't know, I don't know if you guys could hear it or not, but Ralph was actually filming, and, and he says, the second one's better, and I'm like, I'm taking the third. You can, you can barely hear it, it's barely audible, but. See, the competition never stops. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, not gonna oh, listen to him. That, that, that other one had nicer tops and yeah, all Yeah, but this one was wide, you know, that's what I wanted. I wanted a wide one, so. You did good, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Now we have Sharon Sauer. Yep. She, we were up there, we had the girls team out, and the boys team were out. So we're showing another girls hunt. Yeah, we are. Where's yeah. all the guys? I and mean, Sharon took her Thompson Center. That muzzle over, that was a cool hunt. It was an awesome hunt. You need to watch this one. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's continue on with Sharon's hunt. First one. Good job, good job. Yes. Good job. <gasps> He's down. He's down. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> right over here. There he is. <laughs> oh, my God. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sharon, that was awesome. Did you see the shot she put on that, you know, that TC? I mean... We don't do much gun hunting. No. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. It's a good thing. They wouldn't let me play with the gun too much. But, I mean, that TC muzzleloader, that was awesome. I mean, it, that, was, it was so neat. I mean, I was standing there right fun. behind the camera, and that was a lot of fun. We, we might have to try that every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Now, if you remember last week, we said that the, our whole posse was up there. We had Michelle Helen and Randy Brander, along with Sharon. Right. We had Michael... Well, Michael Waddell, Steve Finch from Realtree Road Trips. Right. I mean, we had a great crew up there, and well, let's show you some of the recoveries of these guys with their animals. Was it awesome? <laughs> 
Oh man, good bull. Oh, excellent bull. Look at this, man. Wow. Man, this is just a totally awesome bull. Yeah. He's not real wide, but man, he's got it. He yeah, does have it. You get a long thing on the top. Yep. Little palm mission. Yep. Look at that bez. The yep. big bez. Shovel. Wide bezes. Yeah. Big shovel. Big shovel, yeah. yeah. A little spike off the other side. Yeah. Nice two kickers. You get everything on it. It's a very nice animal. Look at that. Awesome. Perfect animal. Totally awesome. Second yeah. caribou. It's your second. second caribou. Your first one is that thing. Nothing is just right there. That close? <laughs> Man, I, can, I bet you uh, not 15 yards. Yeah. yeah. He came up fast. Yeah. He was fast. I can't see you. I'm sure. I think it's just a little bit more. I can't hear it so well. Nice. Wow. He's nice. Isn't he's he beautiful? Beautiful. Look at the velvet. <laughs> awesome. Wow. It's got all these tines back here. I can barely reach across the spread. What do you think, Great. Michelle? What's the one tip you can give someone that's coming out here caribou hunting? I just can't stress enough. You gotta lead them. They're just always moving. You're rarely gonna get them to stop. And they're not moving that fast, but they've got long legs. They're taking big strides. And you're just so used to picking your spot, having good form, your usual form, and, and you just got to lead them. Well, like we told you earlier, our, our second bull is we shot them 20 minutes apart. And same then, you know, point. Once again, that's what made it. I mean, the trip was fantastic. But it was awesome. When you're sharing it with your best hunting partner, I mean, it, it, was, it was cool. Thank it was you. really special. Appreciate it. I was so glad that my bull was bigger. Check out his haunt. We've got his, as usual, we're sitting at Patrick's favorite spot and again we're having lunch and we got, I believe, five or six different bulls starting to swim across so we're going to get set up again. Folks, let me tell you something about this caribou hunting is you never know what's going to happen. woman guys <laughs> what a woman you owe me this is my second boo and you saw it I had to have Vicky because she had her tall lacrosse boots on to go fetch this thing and guess what it's bigger than hers well congratulations thank you thank it, you it was bigger than mine I'll <laughs> give it to you well I will you know what, I mean, what, what an incredible adventure. It was. It you know, was when you truly... go up there, and, and I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that go caribou hunting, and maybe they don't, they're not in the migration, or they just can't be moved into where the animals are, and, and you've got to look at all these hunts and say, you know what, we're hunting. Right. If, if you're going for a guarantee, then, you, you know, you, you probably have to go to a place where, you know, you're hunting in an enclosed area or something like that. But on, on a situation like that, that whole adventure, you know, sharing with right. everybody. And, well, you know, and we, we got oh. real fortunate. We didn't have 
bad weather. No. Not really. I mean, you hear some really bad weather, and we were very fortunate. We, you know, it worked out really well. It I mean, did. It everything did. was on our side. Thank you, big guy. And with with <laughs> Michael and Steve there from Real True Road Trips, and that was their first time up there. Yeah, and, and what you need to do is you need to watch their show too because. They're going to have like a different aspect of this whole hunt with all of us up there, so you need to keep your eye open for that one. You know, more, more, more than anything, we want to thank you, you know, for once again sharing this great adventure with us, and also thank New to Me Outfitters and Russ and George, George. from Bullseye Outfitters for putting that hunt together, because without them, without New to Me, you know, this, none of that would have been possible. You're, you're right. And so, I want to thank you, too. I had a blast. It was cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. And we also want to thank you guys, the viewers, for watching us <laughs> <laughs> and remember come back next week same time same channel right here on, on the, the archer's, archer's choice, choice.